It's Ritzy Cupcake. We are on our first family trip, going to Melbourne. We decided to start off our travels with a domestic trip as there would be less factors to deal with, especially during COVID times when there is already so much uncertainty. Okay, so we have cleared boarding and now we are just waiting for our flight. And we've got a couple of hours to kill. Hopefully baby will nap in the carrier. Uh, with enough time to spare before the flight so that he can also nap on the plane but he was meant to nap on the drive here and he did not so first rule of flying with a baby expect that nothing will go your way whatever plan whatever normal routine you have it's gone out the window so um, I have no idea what's gonna happen on the plane because I thought he was gonna nap the whole time but now uh, we're totally out of schedule so Hopefully, it's not too awful. So we have to put the stroller in the oversized baggage area. And I've double checked with the security guard and when we go to collect our baggage, when we land, we have to pick it up from a different oversized baggage area place. This is all such a learning experience, traveling with a baby. This is baby's first time looking at a plane. Okay, so baby has gone to sleep. So we'll just do a quick nap and hopefully that'll tide him over to keep him happy until we board and then we'll see how we go but yay that's one win or it might not be a win depending on how he actually behaves on the plane we'll find out we're just wandering around the domestic airport and i'm thinking everything looks so new and different and not familiar and then i realized i actually haven't flown domestic in five years <laughs> That's why it's all so foreign. One thing I did not miss is airport prices. Just got a parent room to change baby and potentially nurse if you want to. There's even a nappy dispenser in the change room. How convenient. We just got given these flywheel packs as we board. COVID flying. We are on the plane and because we have a, an infant, we are going to get a special infant seatbelt that we need to request. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Here we are. As on all flights, it's a requirement that everyone uses their face mask directly over the nose and mouth. As I can see, you've taken your seat. With regards to the in the seat pocket, extending seat belt. Oh, yeah. goes around him and then our seat belt goes through here. Yeah. And now we're taxiing to take off. Snacks are the holy grail of flying with a baby. Bub loves to wipe things down and it makes him feel very useful. So we get to kill two birds with one stone by keeping him occupied as well as getting the area clean. We got the cold food option so that we don't have to worry about baby getting burnt. And now he wants to touch the food. But yeah, so this is why we got the cold food option. So it's okay for him to touch it. There you go. Yeah. When your baby finally falls asleep so you can watch a movie, but the iPads are broken and stuck on announcement in progress for the whole plane. And it's been 20 minutes and there's no sign of it being fixed. Aww. Okay, so we are about to land <laughs> and Baby has been absolutely amazing on the flight. We really lucked out this time, I think. He has just been so amazed by the plane and so entertained by everything, all the little gadgets and gizmos. So he's just been chilling and he had a nap and he had his food and he's just like fantastic. We haven't even had to give him any of his toys. <laughs> so it's been really great. So we were just the last people to leave the plane because it was just so much easier to wait for everybody else to rush off and then take our time to get up. 
There's our friend. Surprise! We've just left the airport with our baggage and we are now in Melbourne. The flight was really good. Way better than I ever would have imagined. Baby really did us a solid there. This is our Chapeau car. This is our car seat. Taking my shoes off because I don't want to trek all the airport nasties in our hotel room where baby's gonna be walking and crawling all over the floor. But let's start here. Oh, so we have a lovely porter cot and a high chair which we had requested, and it is as requested in the room. We've got this gorgeous big bed. Oh, yay! I like, I like, I like full length mirrors when I'm on holidays because I like to be able to see what my outfit will look like. Oh, this. Ooh, a view. Oh, it can smell like food. Yeah. You can hear Melbourne. You can smell Melbourne. So this is the porter cot. And we bought our own cot sheet, which I'm thankful for. Ooh, washer and dryer separate. That's exciting. Big shower. Ooh. Unfortunately, toilet not separate. So that's gonna be fun. And we have a kitchen. And this kitchen, and we've got living area. Ooh, what's this? Some hospital grade disinfectant. Fantastic. Little seating area with a TV. And then we go into the bedroom. So it's like 6.30 Perth time, but 8.30 Melbourne time, so we're trying to find somewhere to eat. Subway was right next door, but they are actually closed, Shut shockingly. At <laughs> so uh, Must have just locked the doors. we were gonna like take Subway back to the hotel room and just feed Bob his food, but now we see a Mac is straight ahead. Hopefully, surely they will be open and save us from not having any dinner. We have found Maccas. We are going to go to this Maccas. So we just went to McDonald's and got a book for a, with a Happy Meal that we're going to eat so that we can have a story for his bedtime. We're just gonna go ask the information booth people if all the trams are free because we want to catch a tram potentially to the botanical gardens so we want to see if it's free uh, or if we have to pay and if we do have to pay how do we get tickets we got given this map the free tram line is just around the city circle and it'll actually cost and you need to get a my key if you want to catch a tram all the way to the gardens or we can just go Close the way and then walk. Up to there where the X is and then walk. So we might do that. Trams are not pram friendly. But we just lifted his stroller on. Alright, we just got off the tram. That was pretty successful. As we were getting off, a few people tried to help us with the bringing the stroller off the tram. So that was nice. But obviously we didn't need it because Hubby is really strong. And yeah. Sure. <laughs> and now we're just going to walk to the botanical gardens and see what it's like over there. I haven't been in years. I don't think I've been since I was a child. So yeah, let's go check it out. What is this? We 
we're almost at the botanical gardens and I love how we've gone through like a few precursor parks to get to the main event park. That's really cool. So like you don't even have to walk in the road or anything, you just keep going through the parks and just have a whole day of parks. The gardens. Fantastic. For anyone who has a toddler, you will already know that they need to burn off their energy, especially if you still want them to have a nap. So I highly recommend that you find a garden or park and just go spend a couple of hours enjoying the nature and let them run around and burn off their energy because especially if you're in a city environment when they're already stuck in a pram, car seat or carrier for the majority of the day. Inside the children's garden. It's really made for kids because the trees are touching our heads. <laughs> And now it's time for this mama to get her shopping fix. So we're going to the parents' room, which is on level two. Unlike the shops back at home, where there's a toilet with a change room in every section, in every level, in Melbourne Central there's only one parent room in the whole mall, which is very inconvenient for people who are parents. The room, however, does have a lot of wow factors. If you are breastfeeding and are thinking about weaning before a trip, I highly recommend that you reconsider and try and wean after the trip as it is so super duper convenient to breastfeed while traveling. It's just whip out the boob and you're good to go. This is the Melbourne Emporium parent room. Way cool. I'm gonna get Bubba this one. He's evolving. This is how we shop with a baby. We use the pram as the carrier. For our goods and it's raining now which is not good yeah almost just following a robot that's escorting us to our seat Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time!